Hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I am coming to you live with a video all about where is a really good spot to find royalty free commercial use graphics that you can use on anything from your website to your merch by Amazon or print on demand shirts and things like that. So, I am, um, yeah, again, I am live, so I'm going to be talking through a site that I've been using for about a year. And they reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to make another video for us? And we'll offer this seven-day free trial for our site. And I said, absolutely, because I, I swear by it. I use it all the time. So I'm going to pop the chat up, say hello, and then we'll dive right into it. So hello, Jeff. Uh, you know, between me and dinner and the Punisher, I think maybe the Punisher wins. Hey, Stamp King, how's it going? Okay, so let me switch over. The site that I'm talking about here is called Storyblocks. They recently changed their name. It was Graphic Stock. And I've been using Graphic Stock for about a year. And the thing I really, really love about it, one, as a YouTuber, I use it on, you know, in the backdrop on my thumbnails and, you know, on my uh, website and things like that. I, the images I can use all over the place. But my main source, one of my main sources of graphics for some of my shirts and print on demand stuff is from Storyblocks. So I'm going to give you the points, make sure I read all the points exactly so that I don't mess it up, um, but definitely something to, since a free trial, right, why not? Okay, so hey, hey in the chat, hi Debbie, Pooja, oh yay, two, two shirts sold on merch, yay, no problem, I'm so glad, hello everybody, okay, Robert says he finally got his first sale, yay, that's awesome, well, here we go, this is going to help you out some. So, okay, I'm going to hit my talking points real quick, and then we can jump into the fun. So, again, you guys know me. I wouldn't do a video promoting a service that I wouldn't use myself, and I have been using it for over a year, or about a year now, I guess. And um, so, yeah, you can get high image quality graphics and stock photos where, you know, a lot of sites where you have to pay per image. This one, you pay the membership. And it's unlimited downloads all the way. Oh my gosh, Yang is in there. I just saw that. Hey, Yang, how's it going? <laughs> Sorry, Yang, you can't come in on this one. <laughs> so, um, but you know the ones I'm talking about. You're like, oh, I love this graphic so much. And then you go to click on it, and it's like astronomical, the amount of money, which is, I mean, I, it, I get it. But this is a site where you pay the membership, the year uh, membership, and then it's unlimited downloads. But again, it's a seven day free trial. So you can go in and download some images and some some stocks, uh, some photos or graphics that you want for for free for seven days. Um, so yeah, they have their library includes 400,000 photos, vectors, textures, icons, and they're always adding new stuff. It's really cool. Um, also, yeah, royalty free, commercial. You can use it on your commercial and personal projects. And I'm just seeing if I missed anything. So those are the main things. So now I'm going to jump into it and show you what I do and how I use it. Oh, good, good. I'm so glad. I love hearing that. So, okay, let me have all my windows open. Now, I use this even before I started using Illustrator. But the cool thing is, okay, let's do cat because I always do cat, right? So I'm going to look at first cat all images and then we'll we'll see where we can go th from there so you can see it automatically starts pulling up photographs and illustrations and things like that well when I was working with um, like using PicMonkey and things like that I would just go to illustration sometimes I'll look at vectors but I you know depending on the file you know the file type is you know it really depends on the program you're using so when I was using PicMonkey a lot more you know or if you're using make merch or one of these other programs um, you could come in and do this you know and you see all lots and lots of cats you know you might find one you like and then now that I'm using a lot uh, not a lot more illustrator but I'm using illustrator more you can select vectors which is what I'm choosing more now and let me know too because I'm back on my pro my pro Randy took it to the Apple genius store genius is that what you call it anyway he had the guys look they totally wiped it so let me know if the stream is good and everything like that. I forgot to ask at the beginning and that you can hear me okay. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm looking, oh dear, okay. I'm looking at cat vectors, right? So these are all different cat vectors I can use. And you just go through, find ones that you like, load more. You know, I see some that I've used before. 
Um, what did I do recently? I was going to share what I, I'll have to do it another day, but I did like a mermaid, you know, so I grabbed a mermaid from here. Let's do that. We can, we can play around with the vector that we find. So, and like I say, I use this site, you know, for the back, like when I create my thumbnails for my videos. So if you're a YouTuber or if you've got a website, you know, it's got lots of graphics. Well, that's a new one. Okay. <laughs> Here's how I know, because I've been here a lot. <laughs> I have not seen that mermaid before. So let's take this little mermaid chick, and you can see you can download her EPS or JPEG. I'm going this one because it's a, um, what does that stand for, EPS? Uh, Yang, are you still there? <laughs> so I'm downloading her, and here's my thing. I want to do a mashup because I'm having fun with mashups lately. Let's mash up a mermaid with a, what's something fun? Do they have a llama? That Would that work? Can we mash up a llama and a mermaid? I don't know. Why not? Let's look at, okay, we got vectors. Llamas are hot. Mermaids are hot. Why can't we marry the two? <laughs> I don't know if I can do that, though. <laughs> what else? Uh, dog? How about a dog maid? Dog maid? Does that sound good? A meow. We could do, uh, you yeah, know, let's do that one later. <laughs> so I'm looking for an image. <clears throat> so you can use the graphic. Yeah, yeah, just not the same words. Um, it, and, the, and the thing is, like, these images, you're not just going to take this image and stick it on a shirt or stick it on a whatever. It's, it, you know, incorporated into your design. So, you know, if I just had this crazy freaky dog there <laughs> and just stuck it on a shirt, then that would probably not be okay. It needs to be incorporated into a design for, for your shirts, right? Okay, do I have a... Well, that would be kind of weird, but why not? Let's do it. <laughs> so here you can see, sometimes it's a P, you can download a PNG as well, which is awesome. Okay, EPS is a vector, yeah, it stands for something. Like, I know it's a vector file, I can't think of what it stands for. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm switching over, let's see if I can pop this up. Here we go, okay, so I've got my Illustrator open, and again, my Illustrator skills are not impeccable. And I just upload, I just, you know, reopened, or re-downloaded, whatever you call it, re-downloaded the whole doodad technical terms okay so I'm opening my two images that we just downloaded this one and I know there's a another way to do it but this is the way I'm doing it for now <laughs> slow and steady wins the race right and here's my mermaid Margaret where are you going with this don't worry Shh. <laughs> thank you young I knew you would know it encapsulated post script okay so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to take this chick, and I want just parts of her. I just want her tail. Isn't that what the guy said? All right, let's keep it clean. <laughs> let's keep it clean. Yeah, we just want her tail, and we'll knock out the rest of the stuff. So, okay, can I do this? Oh, gosh, I'm just making a mess of things, aren't I? Let's see. Okay, let's take that out. And now we're going to just kind of, I'm going to get rid of, oh, gosh, of course, straight for the bra. All right, go on. It's the seven o'clock hour, right? It's late enough. There's no children present. It's not okay. So I, here's my thing. Here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna make a shirt that's part dog, part mermaid, right? Because weird cells, right? Oh, thanks, Mike Shell. I just see that super chat. Thank you very much. Okay. So now we've got this tail. I just went through and deleted all the other stuff. I clicked on this. What is that called now? Direct selection tool. So now I'm going to go back and select on the selection tool, and I'm going to select her. Oh wait, I see a little something that I don't want up here. That means there's something there that I don't want. Let's get it out of there. Okay, so I'm selecting this. I'm going to copy it, and here's my merch template. So I'm dropping it in there. Okay, <laughs> and again, these are images from Storyblocks. So now I'm going to take this dog, I'm going to do the same deal, but this time I want to get rid of his pants. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, yes, we're getting, no, I took out too much. We want to get rid of his pants. So bad. Now it's, I think something's tied together. We're going to have to figure this out. These black, this black is tied together. We may have a problem. <laughs> we may have a problem. Is it going to take away all the black? It sure is. We made a new dog. Okay, back to the drawing board. But hey, that's cool. It's unlimited downloads. Okay, so I'm coming back to graphic stock. So proud. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> I'm getting there. 
Hey, hey, Lisa. And again, sorry if I said if I missed you in the chat. So now I'm gonna find a new dog because that one wants to take away everything. That guy's kind of weird. He might make a fun mermaid, not mermaid. A fun whatever that thing is. A PNG is a file that um. Come on, download you. I want this. I want to download it. Um, that has a transparent background. Can you just cut the image? I probably could, Mike. I probably could, but I haven't learned that yet. <laughs> I'm still I'm still a beginner with Illustrator. Why aren't you? Let me reload this page. This is not letting me cl collect this dog that I want. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I probably could, but I am a, a still a novice as far as Adobe Illustrator is concerned. No, look at this. I'm trying to. Either okay, there we go. Hello, hello. Okay, so now I'm going back, and we are going to marry this mermaid tail with this weird looking dog, other dog thing that I. Okay, you can't see that. Flipping back over. Let me open up this other weird dog. <laughs> okay, nope, that. I have a lot of windows open, so sorry if I click on the wrong thing. You can't see it. Okay, I already did that dog. Nope. Okay, oh, this is superhero dog face thing. Okay, so now we're going to try this again. I'm going to take away. Oh, are you kidding me? There's got to be a better way. So let's take away that. Is it going to take all the black? Look, it, it wants to take all the black away. Shall we just go for it? Maybe we just go for it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to look weird now. Hmm. I need to find another image where I can just... I mean, will it just erase it? I mean, if it's just going to erase it, let's go back. Zip, zip, zip. Okay, that was okay to delete. So let me let me grab the eraser and see if it's super easy. If it is, okay. How do I make the eraser bigger? Eraser tool. Okay. I need a bigger eraser. See, I don't want to. Isn't he from? Is he? Oh, I don't know. Is he from Thundercats? I wouldn't think so. Hang on. Okay, let me pick something else then. Where'd you get Illustrator? Uh, well, I I I did the Creative Cloud. So I yeah. Okay, down you go. Let's go back to Storyblocks and see if I can find something else. Yay! Unlimited downloads. <laughs> Make. Okay. I've got too many things open. I can't find it. I can't find it. What did I do with it? Hang on. Now I'm not talking. There it is. Aha. Uh -huh. Control Alt. Is that how I make the thing bigger? I'll learn it. I don't want. Yeah, it's not right for me to learn it while, while I'm here with you. We could do that dog or this dog, or I'm trying to find one that would look good as a mermaid. <laughs> There's a hot. Can we do a hot dog mermaid? That might be fun. Why not? Let's do a hot dog mermaid. <laughs> okay, hot dog mermaid. It is. I'm just reminding myself weird cells. We're gonna sell this hot dog mermaid. <laughs> Watch. Watch if we don't. Okay, so here's my hot dog. Wait, can you see that? No, I'm not on the right thing. Here we go. So we got the hot dog from graphics or er, storyblocks. If I keep saying graphics dog, y'all better correct me because it's storyblocks now. It's floating. I wanna make it stop. There. Okay, so we are gonna take this hot dog. We are going to make it into a mermaid. <laughs> right? Okay. So paste that over here. This is going to be the best design ever. Number one selling design. Oh, do I want that drop shadow? No, I don't. I'm going to erase this. There. Okay. Now we can turn this hot dog around. Maybe. Oops, easy. And don't judge. You know this is a good idea and you're kicking yourself for not thinking of it first. <laughs> okay, now what I have to do is get this mermaid um, up front. Bring to front. There we go. And then I'm going to make her bigger. And then I need to make my hot dog smaller. And we can go through and give it hands and things like that too if we want it to be fun. Right? 
<clears throat> so <laughs> all we need now is a catchy title or a catchy phrase to go with it. <laughs> so this is uh, something you can do with some of the graphics that you find on on story blocks. I'm looking at this like you guys are probably thinking, uh, what? <laughs> but okay. <laughs> oh, I've got too many things. Tuna dog. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. It looks like a fish eating a hot dog. <laughs> we can turn. We can change it. We can turn it. We can make it into a fish eating a hot dog. We can do whatever we want. And the cool thing is, my whole point in doing this is to show, like, okay, that dog didn't work. That dog didn't work. We can go back to uh, story blocks and we can find another image. We're not having to pay again and again and again to to keep playing around with it. Hot dog. <laughs> yes, Young said. Oh, that's my god. Yep, I bet there aren't too many of those out there. I might have cornered the market. How many images do they have? They have 400,000 images, but there's like photographs, stock photos, um, vectors, illustrations. So it's it's really good, and they're all the time adding new things. So like, there's things like this where you can. Now that I know how to use, um, now that I know know how to use Illustrator. Wiener, <laughs> wiener fish. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> um, you can download images like. Hang on, let me click away so you can see it. Stop. Ah, okay. Hang on. Go back. Like when before I started using Illustrator, and I would see these. Hang on. Let me get so I can show you what I'm talking about. Where did that go? It vanished, of course. It was like a. It almost looked like a wallpaper of things, of images, right? I don't know what you really technically call it, but I wouldn't know how to use things like that, so I would just grab it in like a, like this here. I would just grab it and erase everything I didn't want, but now that I'm using Illustrator, I could grab this. You know, again, I could just download it because I have a membership for the year and then take what I want. We can make a, a pug made. Somebody quick search. Are there any Pug Mermaids shirts out there? We could totally do this, right? Yeah, and then just take parts of it and put them put them together. I'm really having fun. This is, okay, I'm going to be making another video later, and the story blocks will be <laughs> featured in it again because I'm having a lot of fun doing mashups in Illustrator. That's the one thing I'm loving about it um, is that I can take images from story blocks and, like, take a – Mer like this, like take a mermaid and stick it with a hot dog. Take a whatever, you know, and just like Dr. Frankenstein. So it's good fun. And I don't have to pay through the nose to get all these different images, these vectors from some of the sites. So anyway, long story short, Storyblocks is awesome. Do you know how long the free promo will be available? I don't. That's a good question. But I don't. Um, The link is in the in the description box below, do a dog eating a hot dog, dog eat dog world. <laughs> that would be, see, yeah, exactly. You could go so many places. But then look, like if you have a website, I know Yong has a website, I have a website. Or, you know, there's photographs too or like stock photos that you can use for, for your website or for anything that you might want to use it for. Illustrations, vectors, uh, yeah. Royalty free, everything, every image you download is yours to keep and use forever. And yeah, it's very good. So anyway, check that out. And the price I think for the year is, I think it's 150 bucks for the year, which is, I mean, if you think about it, if, how much it costs to buy an image to use or a graphic to use for, you know, most of you guys are probably here for print on demand stuff. It, it can get, you know, it can start adding up. So, you know, as you, you could look at this as a cost of doing business, which is what I do. So, that being said, let's say bye to our wiener dog. Wiener dog? Wiener fish? Hot dog fish? I'll hit on the right term. And this will be soon available for sale in my Etsy printful shop. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Thanks so much, guys, for coming. I'm not going to take you through the whole process like I do normally when I create a shirt and list a shirt, but I just wanted to share 
this offer from Storyblocks with you guys and um, just show you some of the fun that you can have if you're making shirts or other print-on-demand things with it. But again, thank you so much for coming to visit everybody and I will see you guys later. Bye. I am, I am sure I won't stop streaming. Thank you for asking, YouTube. <laughs>